Hi, this is uh, Christoph von Thoma from Pronovix and in this videocast I'm going to explain how you can use Drupal to manage complex organigrams in um, your corporate website. So how did this problem, uh, how did we get onto this problem? Um, we're currently developing a website for a big research institute and if you, if you look at their organization they have like several institutes, um, They've got uh, several research groups, several projects, and in those projects they've got a lot of people. And to make it, uh, to make all the, the dynamic content um, of this of this uh, research uh, organization um, fit together and, and play well together, we, we needed to implement a system um, that allowed us to, to connect all these different uh, bits of information. The way we did that is um, in the following system. So um, first of all, let's let's submit a re uh, an institute. So when you want to go and, and submit a new institute, say an organic chemistry, um, I'm going to skip a lot of fields um, because I just want to demonstrate your organogram system. Um, so description um, submitted. Okay. Um, then you get standard uh, system like in Drupal. You can go back and go edit it, um, but you get um, a new research uh, institute. You get a new institute. Now, when you go, um, when afterwards you create a research group, you'll see that uh, in the uh, in the in the organigram of the re uh, of the research group, uh, you see that there's different institutes. So we can go and choose our an organic chemistry, add that to our system, and so this is an organic chemistry. So let's say it's um, alkaloid chemistry, and let's dummy. Submit. Okay, that's been created. Now let's create um, a project. Um, who alkaloids? <laughs> I've got myself um, some alkaloid project, and that's part of the. Oh, let's. I have to resubmit because this forum didn't know about it yet. So when we look now, we've got the anorganic chemistry. We can select a group, the alkaloid group, and we can add that to the organigram. Submit. And then we're going to add uh, a person to this research group. Um, let's say, Jos Vermeulen. Is part of the anorganic chemistry group, um, institute alkaloid chemistry group, and he's working in the alkaloid project. And now, but maybe this person is also working um, in another group. Maybe he's also working in organic chemistry and in biological compounds. But in biological compounds group, um, there's no projects. But you can also add that, and so you can you can keep adding. Um, group functions um, through the system, and um, the project will then add to the system will then remember um, in what uh, institutes the person was active and in what uh, groups and projects. You can say also like okay from um, from this he is he's the director for example. Okay, submit. Okay, so we've now created Jos Vermeulen. Now if we go back and reload those pages that we had before, then you see that Jos Vermeulen, um, this project group has appeared on the um, on the organic chemistry department. Um, it also has appeared on the um, 
uh, on the Anorganic Chemistry uh, Institute, you see the alkaloid chemistry group. Uh, on the alkaloid chemistry um, group, you can see the some alkaloid project um, and uh, etc. So you, you can basically create this um, organigram structure on which you can um, add pieces of content that then will appear on the appropriate places all, all the way up through the tree. Now what, the beauty of this is that you can, you can for example add a job for a specific project but that job will then also appear on the page uh, of the um, group, the research group, but also on the page of the institute etc etc etc. So you can also make um, group specific news, uh, institute specific news, you add publications um, and, and all of it goes organically dynamically without any interference from, from the administrator uh, is shown on the appropriate places. And um, that was it for this screencast. Um, thank you for watching and um, um, hope to see you soon.